There are a few things to consider when choosing between a manual and automatic blood pressure monitor. Manual blood pressure monitors are typically less expensive than automatic monitors. Automatic monitors are generally considered more accurate. However, some people prefer the manual option because it allows them to have more control over the reading. There are also some automatic monitors that can be operated by batteries, which may be a consideration for people who do not have access to electricity. More doctors are encouraging their patients to use home blood pressure monitors to monitor their blood pressure on a regular basis, making it easier to do so. There are two basic ways to use it, automatic or manual. The cuff, aneroid gauge, bulb, and stethoscope are the four main components that make up a blood pressure monitor. An automatic unit, which is typically equipped with a wrist or upper arm cuff, has a large digital display. These units, in some cases, are less reliable than their manual counterparts. It can be difficult to find the right solution for you or a loved one. All of the factors to consider should be taken into account, and you should consult with a healthcare professional if necessary. Which type of blood pressure monitor is more accurate? The American Heart Association recommends using an upper arm monitor because it is the most accurate. The cuff wraps around your upper arm and tines as you tighten it in order to measure your blood pressure. The wrist monitor attached to your wrist measures your blood pressure. Hypertension is one of the most serious public health problems in the world, and it is critical for its early diagnosis and treatment. Mercury sphygma manometers have been widely used due to concerns about mercury's potential ill effects on health and the environment. Aneroid devices perform better than digital devices in terms of measuring systolic and diastolic blood pressure. As a result of an increase in hypertension, the world has seen an increase in the scope of the disease. If systolic blood pressure rises by 5 mmHg, the risk of stroke or myocardial infarction rises by approximately 25%. Automated office blood pressure readings more accurate than home readings. According to a JAMA internal medicine meta-analysis, Automated blood pressure readings in doctor's offices are more accurate than traditional readings in hypertension patients. The readings taken automatically may be more accurate than home readings due to the fact that they are not taken by hand and have movement and irregular heart rates. The majority of people consider digital blood pressure monitors to be the most reliable. Manual blood pressure monitors are more accurate than automated. According to a JAMA internal medicine meta-analysis, Automated office blood pressure readings are more accurate than standard office readings for patients with hypertension. Given the accuracy of home blood pressure readings, it could be preferable to use a manual blood pressure monitor. Especially given these results, the study found that the readings were off by approximately 5 mmHg 70% of the time by automated readings. It was also discovered that respondents' readings were inaccurate one-third of the time. Are manual blood pressure cuffs better? There is no one definitive answer to this question. Some people may prefer manual blood pressure cuffs because they are easier to use or because they provide a more accurate reading. Others may find that automatic blood pressure cuffs are more convenient or provide more consistent results. Ultimately, it is up to the individual to decide which type of cuff is best for them. The pros and cons of automatic VS Manual blood pressure readings Taking blood pressure readings can be a good or bad decision depending on your preferences. Although automated readings are generally more accurate than office readings, they may not always be as precise in some cases. The cuff is less precise than a variety of other methods, but it is usually more comfortable for many patients. It is critical to consider the advantages and disadvantages of each option before making a decision. We are almost wrapping up. These are the common differences between these two. Hope you like this video. Please comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos.